Hi, welcome back to Cowboy Survival. I'm Richard, and today we're going to do something a little different. I'm out on a friend's farm, so we're on location today. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to this creek that's back behind me and down the bank, and we're going to gather some water, and we're going to run it through my GoSun solar water filter and water pump. And we're going to see how clean the water really is. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a really detailed video on how this solar water filter and water pump works, went through all the features of it and all the different ways you can use it. I promised in that video that I'd come out and gather this, this raw creek water and filter it um, and see how clean it is. Now, after I filter it, what we're going to do is go to the local university and they have a water center and we're going to have them test that water for us to see if it is in fact uh, clean and safe to drink. And you'll know that this water filter then works just like it says it does. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of things. I'm going to show you how we set up this uh, for our uh, water draw. Um, and then we're going to go down to the creek and actually draw the water. So I've opened up my water filter and what we need to do now is hook it up. So right now I've got to take my, this is my output hose. It comes out of the pump here, goes around through my filter and I'm gonna run it through this little grommet that's on the outside. I'm gonna just push it through there and then I will hook it up to my water filter. So that is now hooked up and I can run that into. I've got a couple of water bottles here. What the water center recommended that I do is actually go get two fresh water bottles, um, empty out the water, and then use those to collect my clean water. Uh, I'm gonna use one of these actually to collect some dirty water so you can see what it looks like. And this one I'm gonna use for the clean water. Uh, and then we'll take the clean water one over there and have them test it for us. So let's go see what we've got. So I've got this hooked up now for the out. Now I've gotta take this, this is my in take hose. I'm going to undo the little Velcro straps on it. And, well, if I can get this out of it, there we go, it stuck to itself. I'll put that here. I'll take this one off. And I'll put this here. It's really good Velcro. Okay. So now I'm gonna run the, this end of the hose uh, right here. I'm gonna run it again through this rubber grommet right here. And I'm gonna hook it up to my pump. Now my pump has an in and an out. So my in, I don't have anything hooked to it. So I'm gonna take this and just hook that up to the end. So, so the water will come through this little screen filter and it'll go through the hose, into the pump, it'll come out of the pump, through the filter, and from the filter, it'll go into my water bottle. So uh, this is ready to go, uh, ready to walk down to the creek and gather us some water. Okay, I think I'm in a pretty good spot. Uh, there's lots of leaves under this, so there's some natural filtering going on. I'm gonna try and throw my uh, filter out into this pond uh, deeper area out here to draw our water from. Uh, I'll get a close-up of the video of the water actually filtering um, and uh, then we'll take it out to the water center and see what it does. So I've got my water filter ready. Uh, I'm going to start filtering. So the first thing I have to do is plug up my actual pump to the battery. So I'll do that first and you'll be able to hear that pump come on. So you should probably be able to hear that pump now through the microphone. So the next thing I will do, now that the pump is on, uh, I am going to take uh, this end right here um, with my uh, particle filter on it, and I'm gonna throw it into the water right over here, and you will see water coming out this hose right there. So let me get it to where we can see it. I'm just gonna throw this in. It goes down to the bottom, and you can see it in there, hopefully. And we're gonna get some water coming out. Now the pump slows down a little bit when the water starts to come, so there it is. So I'm just gonna fill this water up, bottle up with that hose. We should be able to see that water filling up there. The water looks really, really clean coming out of that. Now the water's pretty clear, so it's probably pretty clean anyway, but 
it's going to have some natural particles in it, some natural bacteria. It's going to have some natural um, organisms in it, and we want to get all those out of there uh, by filtering. So that's what we're doing. So we now have a full bottle of water. I'll put the cap on that. And this water is ready to be tested. So what I wanted to show you is these two bottles of water. Now this one right here, that's my clean water. I know it because I got a label, I still got the label on the bottle. This is the water directly out of the stream. You look at these two bottles, you can't hardly tell the difference. This is why it's really important to filter your water while you're on the hike, on the trail, or while you're trying to get home, filter any water you come across because you never know. That water there looks really, really clean, but I can promise you it's not. It came directly out of a farm creek. It's not going to be clean. This water is the filtered water, and we're going to make sure that this water is actually clean by taking it to the water center and having them test it for us. I have had the water tested at the local university's water center and these are the results that came back now it's important to understand a couple of things first of all uh, I did not ask them to test for presence of minerals or uh, metals or other things that could be in the water I only had them test for E. coli and total coliform for do a bacteria test <clears throat> second uh, it is important to remember this is not a test confirming potability of the water all this test does is tell us what's not there. It doesn't tell us what is there. This test just tells us what's not there. So I read the test. It tells us our E. coli is less than 1, and our total coliform is less than 1. So what does that mean? Well, let me just read to you from the report, because I'm not a biologist. So I'll just read to you from the report. This E. coli is a type of fecal coliform bacteria commonly found in the intestines of animals and humans. Uh, e. coli is short for uh, Escherichia coli. I, I don't know if I pronounced it right. Few E. coli strains cause disease. However, the presence of any E. coli in a water sample suggests that disease-causing organisms are also likely to be present. The presence of E. coli in water is a strong indication of recent sewage or animal waste contamination. A result of less than one means that no E. coli bacteria were detected. So in this test, the, in the water that I ran through the filter, the cleaned water, there is no indication of any E. coli present. Okay, what does the total coliform mean? Well, it says that <clears throat> total coliforms is a designation for a group of closely related, mostly harmless bacteria that live in soil and water, as well as in the intestines of animals. The extent to which coliforms are present in the source water can indicate the general quality of that water. As a, re a result of, ne of, of less than one means that no total coliform bacteria were observed. So, again, the, the clean sample that came through the coast sun water filter showed no E. coli and no total coliform uh, present. As I said, these results cannot be translated to mean that this water, quote, is safe but it does indicate that there is no E. coli present in that water. So if I was in an emergency and I need to drink, I would feel comfortable drinking that water since there's no harmful bacteria identified in it as after it comes through the filter. Again, I don't know what was in the water to start with. I do know it's a wild creek. I do know that it runs through at least one uh, uh, cattle farm, maybe two or three. Uh, so there was bound to be some E. coli in the water, and uh, in the raw water, the cleaned water said there was little there. So I feel pretty good about these results. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Uh, it's a beautiful day, uh, low 60s out here on the farm. What a great excuse for getting outside, right? Well, we tested our water filter. We got some water. We had it tested at the water center, and the water center said it was safe to drink. So that's great news. So if you like this video, we want you to click the like button below. I'd certainly appreciate any comments anybody might have for me, uh, and we'd love to have you subscribe to the channel. So from Cowboy Survival, we'll see you real soon.